Hey guys, welcome back. Well, as you can see, I have some camera gear here in front of me on the table. Uh, the reason for that is I've recently gotten some questions on what I use to make my videos. Not that I am a professional by any means, but I've decided to go ahead and make a two-part series on the type of equipment I use to make the video and then the system I use to edit it. So. I'm going to go ahead and start going over some of this stuff and hopefully give you some ideas of what it takes to make uh, YouTube videos. Now by no means do you need all this stuff. You could easily get by with a cell phone and a little tripod. Um, this is just stuff that I've collected over time and that's what I suggest you do. Just you know, buy the stuff as you need it and um, I usually try to buy the stuff that I think is the best value and quality that I can afford. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the tripods and I've actually made a few review videos on some of this stuff already so you could check that out if, if you want to. Uh, the first one is uh, having a good solid tripod and uh, the one I go to the most is the Ravelli that you see here. I highly recommend it. It's like 60 bucks and it comes with the pistol grip. It's a really good tripod. I also have a lot of small tripods for using cell phones or smartphones. And those are pretty inexpensive. Uh, one of the tripods I use a lot is this small one, this tabletop by ReadyCam. As you can see, I have my cell phone there. I'm actually going to be switching over to that when I talk about the camera I use. And I'll do that towards the end of the video. So you could, you'll kind of get an idea of the difference in quality between a cell phone and the camera I'm using. Um, I've got a steady cam. I haven't used this a lot. It takes a little getting used to this this piece right here. Um, I've seen some people that can use them and basically it's made for just you can almost run with them and get a, a really smooth video with it. I'm not that good yet. Uh, I use this a lot. This just attaches to the bottom of the camera where uh, normally you put the tripod and it's just it's just to stabilize the camera a little more it works great I have a LED light which I forgot to turn on on um, another inexpensive tripod it's about a thirty dollar tripod okay I turn the light on the LED light it's not super bright but it just adds a little ambient lighting uh, to help get rid of some shadows. And I have a cleaning kit for my camera. I have a filter for the LED light so if I want to give it a little warmer look. And I have um, SD cards for storing the, the videos. Those are uh, very important. I believe these are these are the U3. So if you there's a U right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Uh, anyway, there's a U3, and what that means is that you can use these to um, take 4K video, which my camera will do. I usually don't do a lot of 4K because it makes the video so big it's, it takes forever to upload so I usually do 1080p and then some holders for the SD cards I have some filters different color filters for my camera just changes the look of stuff I don't use those much 
Uh, extra batteries and chargers, very important. And a couple adapters for my tripods. And my bag. This is um, an Amazon Basics bag. And, you know, I really like low pro stuff, but it's expensive. So I went on Amazon and this got really great reviews. So 29 bucks, I bought it. And it's actually very good quality. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, it's a backpack. So it has the straps on the back and tons of storage. It's uh, padded really well, so it protects everything. I figure that's all I need. You know, I don't want to spend three hundred dollars on a bag or two hundred. Uh, another thing about this ready cam, I think this was a roughly about thirty-five dollars. What I've done is I've taken some weights that these are like ankle wrap weights you use to walk with. And I've just hung a couple pounds and it just stabilizes this. Because if you get a heavy camera on that, it can be a little tippy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my cell phone so I can show you the camera I use. And hopefully the quality is still okay. I may have to keep my camera on uh, for the sound quality because this camera has a very, very good microphone in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've set up my camera on the tripod. Uh, now this is being recorded from my cell phone. And um, the camera I'm using is a Panasonic G7. This is a 4K camera. I don't recommend 4K unless you have a lot of bandwidth in your internet. I, I usually do 1080p and it, it usually looks really good. Um, I originally started off looking for a camera in the $300 price range. Uh, I ended up buying a Nikon. I think it's an 830. I will, I'll put a picture of it and the exact model in the corner. Um, but anyway, I bought it from Costco and I think it was about $240 at the time. Brought it home, uh, set it up the best I could. I, I made a video and it wasn't very good. In fact, I've seen cell phones that were better. So um, the worst part about that camera is if you got any kind of low lighting, it was terrible, grainy, and it had a really bad microphone in it. The, the, the sound was terrible. So I figured, well, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to step up to a better camera. So I started researching and uh, I ended up buying the G7 because it just got rave reviews. A lot of people use this camera. It's a little spendy. Just the camera alone is, you can get it for about $5.99. Um, yeah, I think it's well worth it if you have the money. If you don't, I would use, if you're just starting out, I would just use a cell phone. If you have a, a decent cell phone or you ha you're lucky enough to have a, a Samsung, they take awesome video and pictures. So if you're just starting out, you know, use your cell phone. Um, I use this camera also for family vacations and, you know, Christmas time. I, I love filming the family. So to me, it, it serves a dual purpose and it's, it's worth the money. So I'm going to go ahead and try to spin it around here so you can get a better look at it. This camera, I have not even touched the surface on how to use it. There are so many things that this camera will do. I don't have, I haven't had the time to really get into it, but eventually I will. The nice thing is you can put it on automatic and it takes beautiful video and pictures. Now you can improve those by setting up, you know, the, the light settings and stuff that it has but I just haven't had the time to do that yet. Eventually I probably will. But I think if you're looking for a camera in this price range, this is a, an awesome camera. You, you probably have a hard time getting anything better for the money. So that's gonna wrap up my video of the gear I use for making my videos.
If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And like I said, this is going to be a two-part series, so the next video is going to be the editing software I use, the computer I use to do that, and a little tour I have, you know, my microphone and my monitor and stuff like that. So I hope you like this video. Check out the next one. I thank you for watching, and have a great day.